Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at a very small super seat that's fuel efficient, fun to drive, easy to get around, but it's not a super duper seat that's like driving a mo monster truck. This is just like driving a normal pickup truck. This is a 2023 Thor Omni model XG32 with a 6.7 liter power stroke and 4x4. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Omni and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Again, welcome back to another video. I am super excited today to be taking a look at a 23 Omni. We love Super C's, we love the Omnis, and I like this because it's like a baby Super C, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna it's gonna feel great to drive and it's gonna be really nice. But before I begin, let's say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everybody! How's it going today? It's going good, you guys. Matt, I don't know the last time we had an Omni. Oh, uh, it's been a little bit, it's yeah. It's been a long time. So, so I'm super excited. Yes, and thank you everybody who joined us last night for Matt's RV yes, Reviews Europe Edition. You guys. And again, guys, just so everybody knows, we're we're doing the live uh, Europe editions every weekend till the end of the year. Andrea, without further ado, let's begin. Model is 2023 Thor Omni XG32. The actual tip to tip length is 33 feet six inches. This is the Omni. It sits on the F. 550 chassis it looks absolutely fantastic it's a 6.7 liter power stroke 330 horsepower look at that beautiful bunk over the cab no seams in it andrea it's very nice nice big windshield right there looks absolutely fantastic andrea look at this cab doesn't this look awesome it does and look at the big ford sign hell like, yeah didn't look, know, you look know now it. now you know because that's as big as my freaking head i love this it's going to be a great riding class c andrea and this is really for the people who want a Super C, they want a diesel, or they need more leg space up front, but they don't want to drive a freaking Mack truck, you know what I'm saying? So it's that great combination. And then look at these tires, Dre, they're the Continentals. I love those. 225-70R19.5 with shiny rims. Again, Andrea, this is the XLT F550 with the 4x4, very nice. Now the bigger Omnis and the bigger magnitudes are gonna sit on the new F600, but since this is the smallest one, it does just fine. Right here we do have uh, mirrors on both sides and the cameras is integrated into the side of the RV. And then look at this, Andrea. Cargo carrying capacity, 2,154 pounds. Nice running board and again, look, look, look at the seats. This is made for people like Will that they don't want a Class A, they want a Class C, but they can't fit in that little E-Series cockpit area. Right here we do have frameless windows throughout the motorhome. Nice armless awning with wind sensor right there. And a beautiful full body paint job. Got storage right there. Yes, ma'am, look at that. Nice double doors, I really Your like it. Inverters in there. Yeah. Right here we do have a TV on the outside that is locked. And then there's your auto leveling. Nice TV so you can sit out and watch the NASCAR race. Right there we do have their potable water fill. Potable. Potable. You wanna know what's funny, Andrea? Look at these double doors on up there and here. Yeah. What's funny is nice storage. Pass through. I'm friends with like some of these NASCAR drivers now. And I like I can't appreciate it because I like don't watch NASCAR. But like the the hottest the hottest NASCAR driver, Haley Deegan, and her boyfriend Chase, we're like BFFs now, which is actually really <laughs> funny. And um, I, I had, NASCAR is just way above my head. But hopefully they'll be getting an RV soon, which will be very cool. Right there, we do have a propane quick connect. And here, we do have propane tanks. And then here, bing, we will have all the tanks, sizes, lengths, widths, everything right there for everybody to watch on TV. Uh, guys, if you like Haley Deegan, Comment down below. Supposedly, well, that's I, I I know this now, but I didn't know this. She's like the biggest upcoming star. And then Andre and I were watching the video the other day. Wasn't that funny? It was funny. Yep. Very entertaining. And then right here, Andre, ten thousand pound hitch. I'm not saying this motorhome can tow ten thousand pounds. You're good with five, six, seven thousand. Any more than that, you have to know before you tow. Always weigh your motorhome. Right up there is a backup camera. 
and then there is a ladder to get up on the roof. Wow, look at that, Matt. Are you going to be able to do that? That's a big stretch. I got it, Andre. All right. Let's go up there and take a look. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. Here we go now. Wow, up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one-piece TPO roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Weingart digital antenna, max air fans, and then three solar panels on the roof. Here we go now. Two steps. Two steps. Great, and if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesmen taking his fat ass up on the roof, showing you what features the roof has to offer? Nobody. Nobody. Finishing up, Andrea. Right over here, we have more storage. 50 amp power cord. Yes, ma'am. Right there, that's where you plug in your power cord. Here's gonna be a fuel fill. Diesel. Right there. Storage, other side. And there was a motion light in there. City water connection. Instant hot tankless water heater. And then here's your wet bay. Here's your outdoor shower, black tank flush, and everything. Perfect. Right here is going to be more fuel. Yep, more fuel fill up. And then here's your Onan 6000 diesel generator. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Here we go now. All right, coming in here, we can see that the slides are in. Yep. Good walkway. Through here, plenty of space still. You can definitely open the fridge. Here's the bathroom. And your bed, yep, you can still use it with the slide in. And Andrea, while we're getting the slide outs out, let's give a big shout out to RV Life. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by RV Life tools that make camping simple. Everybody knows when it comes to camping, it can be a little stressful, but not with RV life. So first discover, research campgrounds and other locations of interest with detailed information, but for RVers. Plan your trip accordingly with the popular trip planner. That software is amazing. It's gonna tell you the best routes and you can go with your RV safe GPS. Not only are you typing in your specifications so it knows not to take you under any low bridges, but you can actually use that offline so so if you're at a place with no Wi-Fi, you'll still have your GPS and you can share it with their RV community, guys. RV Life is more than just an app. It's an awesome program that all RVers should have. What we're doing is a free seven day trial for Matt's RV Reviews customers and 25% off on top of that. So all you do is go to their website, rvlife.com, sign up for the free seven day trial by clicking our link down below or typing in Matt's RV Reviews. Don't download the app because you, then you won't get the free seven days. So do it on the website, register Matt's RV Reviews, then download the app. We appreciate RV Life for sponsoring this video and sponsoring Matt's RV Reviews. Let's continue the video. Andrea, very nice open motorhome, very open. Let's get started down here in the cockpit area. All right, Andrea, F. 550 this is just like driving a pickup truck okay very nice very comfortable power windows adjustable mirrors andre i feel so comfortable driving this is getting 11.6 miles per gallon right here we have our camera we have our nice radio navigation system andre sit in my co-captain seat please oh right really here <laughs> we have three <laughs> cup holders down. yes ma'am you can watch your dress very nice all right, we're trucking now, Andre. How does it feel? Feels like a normal truck. Yes, but not like a normal RV, Andre. Look at all that leg right, space there. Right, right. I, I forget that we have the RV on the back. Yes, again, and, and check it out, guys. I mean, you can kind of see the bunk over the cab, but not really. Um, and again, from my customers that have this motorhome, they're saying that it feels just like driving a regular F250, F350. You know what I'm saying? And then above Andre is the bunk over the cab. It does hold 600 pounds. 
Or is it, was it 800? It's 800. 800? Oh, no, no, no stop, stop. It's 500, which is weird because on the other ones, it is 800. Well, different strokes for different folks. And then, Andrea, look at this. Very nice. I love how we can push the button and you have the windshield. And then something else, Andrea. Look at how tall the bunk over the cab is. Yes. You know, so many of these motor homes, the bunk over the cab's like here, and then you only have this type of space. I love this. You can sit up here. You got plenty of head height. Yeah. Love the lights. I love the Adults windows. Adults could totally be up there. Very comfortable. Exactly. There's a privacy curtain right there. I do yes. see some cup holders back there and cubbies. And then over here is the cabinetry. Andrea, Thor's been doing I this. I love it. I love the color. So nice. You know, it's getting away from that white farmhouse that's everybody doing, but they're putting their own little touch on it. Right over here is the balances. Denied. Womp, 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 womp. Sorry, guys. <laughs> hey, don't don't apologize to me. Right here, we do have daytime shades and privacy shades. And then, Andrea, look at these nice, comfortable theater seats. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, cabs are here. Right here, we do have your cup holders, and then here's where your remote goes. And Andre, this is just a nice, comfortable seat, and I love it. And it is directly across from the TV, okay? Now, the TV is above the dinette. We have some nice Art Deco on the wall. Mm, no. Oh. But <laughs> it is above the dinette, which you can't be mad about. This is a smaller motorhome. If you guys scan that QR code, you will get more facts and information about the Omni. Andre, this table drops down to make a bed. You have cup holder there and wireless phone charger, which is a very fancy feature. And Storage then, underneath. let's see. Yes, ma'am, you do. Uh, I don't know if that side does it. Oh, it does not. Car seat tether. Very nice. And then over here, here's our auto leveling controls. More storage there. More storage wow. there. Oh, wow, like a little closet. Andre, it's the fancy life. Well, Andre, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. You guys ready for this? MSRP on this motorhome here is only $291,323, Andrea. MSRP. Sale price, I don't know the sale price currently, but we, I know we can always get you guys a phenomenal sale price on this Omni or Magnitude. If you guys are ready to buy it, all you gotta do is go to the website, mattsrvreviews.com, fill out the contact tab. We're here, and we're gonna make sure that you guys get a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the industry. Andrea, show us this kitchen. Okay, look at this. I, I've commented before, but I like the slide pattern. Of course. We have a window here. Very nice. Okay, let's see. We have solid surface countertop. Very Beautiful. Very pretty. Double sink. Nice. Extension here. And let's see what's over there, Matt. We've got sponges and two drawers. Great. Right. Did you even Soft open that clothes. cabinetry? Not yet. Oh, okay. I, I was Soft so clothes. Very nice. And then above here, we have a cabinet with adjustable shelves. Yes, ma'am. And then, oh, we got a tower of power. Hey, that's a nice tower of power right there. Contour, convection, microwave. Okay. I like the backsplash in here, cute. We got a two burner propane cooktop and a one burner induction cooktop. Yes. Underneath, I love this. Oh, wow, See, pull it this out. That's all it is. Yes, need. it is. It keeps it organized. It does. And then. Andre, you missed this one. Did I really? You sure did. <gasps> hey! Wow! That's a $156 trash can. Thor does it again. Andrea, you cannot mess up on the trash can. Man, they are always, I like that, always putting trash cans in. Absolutely. Okay, so we got a residential GE refrigerator. Very nice. Very nice, runs off your electric and your inverter. All right. And then, let's see. Wow, look at that storage. I guess it's supposed to be the pantry. Yes. Okay. Very great All job. Right. Yeah, they gave you one, which is good. And then, uh, Matt. Andrea, it's not good. It's great. There's your pad right there. Controls everything. Yes. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Cabs are here. Uh oh. That looks even smaller than normal. Great wow. Shower. That's not a fan small. of it, Andre. I'm not a fan of radius showers. Okay, Matt. Look at this medicine cabinet. Oh yeah. What size? More storage there. Very nice. More storage here. Oh man. Good sink with counter space. 
and then you got another place for there for storage. All right, you got some cute cubbies there too. You know, this is the last video of the trip. It is. Let's see. Let's end it on a good note. Well, I'm gonna end it on whatever note. I'm not deciding the note. Thor's deciding the note. But Andrea, this is a prime pooping position. Bing! Very nice. Bing. That's how we're doing it. All right. Master bedroom. Oh shoot, I like the way you work it. <laughs> no diggity. I think we are overworked, Matt. We got a pocket door going into the master bedroom. Yep. Small bed on Wow, Freya. that's a queen size. I don't know if that's even a queen. That's a very unique shape. No, it's shape. a queen. I don't know. Headboard right there. Three Storage above. Cabinets above, opposing windows. How do you like the headboard? It's okay. Okay, the windows are there. Nightstands with USBs. Yes, ma'am. Over here we have one wardrobe. Tell me good something size. good. We've got, oh my goodness, look at all these drawers. Show me. Wow, wow. good size. Soft clothes. Very look at these. Nice. Open them, open them. Six of them over here. We want to see them. Ten, Very nice. Ten drawers all, all together. Take me. I never see that many. And then here we have the TV with storage behind. Yes, ma'am. Wow. That goes up pretty far. Right. <laughs> I'm sure you could do pull ups on that. Right. Okay. Uh, got a radio over here, too. Yes, ma'am. And then outlet. open those bottom drawers because those are a little bit oh, bigger. Oh, yeah, they are, aren't they? Very nice. Yes, I love that. And then, Andrea, let me see if there is storage underneath the bed. I don't think so, There's not. But now we know. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give you three things we love about the Omni, three things we just don't like. Andrea, what do we do first? Let's do three things we dislike about it. Okay, I actually have the first one outside. Andrea, dislike number one. For me, honestly, it's this wet bay. It's very elementary, very basic. Your city water connection's on the outside. Very cheap and chintzy here. I do not like how they did their wet bay. They could have done a lot better than that. Andrea, that is dislike number one. Great, Andrea, that's dislike number one. Do you mind if I give you number two? Sure. Andrea, I'm gonna say this bed's small. Andrea's calling it a queen size bed. I just don't know. America, comment down below. I don't know. It looks awfully small to me. And even if it is a queen size bed, I just rather have a king size bed. I mean, what you what you got a king size chassis? When you're in the diesel, when you're in that Ford 550, I want a bigger bed. I agree. That is number two. And then Andre, give me a third dislike. Number three, not really a lot of counter space right here. Mm. I don't really like that. Um, you know, I just I kind of wish they would have just put the extension or like a peninsula. Okay, I I get it, Andrea. That's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things. We love about it, Andrea. I'm so sorry. You go first. Okay. Because I'm giving you number two and three. I think for this being a smaller Super C, I think the storage is great in here. Absolutely. I was really surprised they gave you a pantry. I, I wasn't expecting it. Can we combo it with what the, the color? color? Yeah. Yes. Colors are absolutely fantastic. Andrea, that's number one. Number two, oh, snap, I have another dislike. We always mention it. Climbing down in here is always a tough dislike. But number two, Andrea, I love the oversized bunk over the cab. I love the front windshield. I love how a dog can sleep up here. And I love how it's seamless. That is number two. And then Andrea, number three is gonna be that F550 cockpit area. The 6.7 liter Paris Stroke America with the four by four. It's freaking awesome. And Andrea, because I gave four dislikes, you can give us a fourth like. Uh, what I'm gonna say is it's kind of weird. So when, when you're an RVer, you kind of know when you get in and out of RVs like we do, when something cools down pretty fast. Right. I have to say, every time we've gotten in these Thor Super Cs, mm. the Inception, the Pasadena, this Omni, they have cooled down really, really fast. So they got great air, air conditioning they units. They really do. Very so, nice. good job, Thor. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in getting a Thor Super C, go to our website, mattsrvreviews.com fill out the contact tab. We're here. We're going to make sure that you guys get a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the industry. Andrea, what do you want to say to the world? Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Yes. Thor does read the comments and they do watch the videos. Hi, Steve. Yes. So make sure you leave your feedback. 
Thank you guys so much for tuning in to our Matt's RV Reviews European Edition. And Andrea, they can find that every weekend. Every weekend till the end of the year, we will have European RVs. Perfect. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you're safe and well. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll see you next time.